What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. And if you're not new here, welcome back. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Des. I go by Desby. And you are at my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and push that little bell so you never miss a video from me. As you see, we've changed up scenery today. Your girl got a ring light. I'm super excited about it. And I also started prep. Yes, I have not started prep since 2016. I've been bulking since then, slash reverse dieting. And today is the first day of my prep. I am excited, but also kind of nervous just because I haven't prepped in so long. Um, I actually forgot like what the process is like, and I have a new coach that I've been working with now, and so we're, it's like our first prep together. Whew, it's kind of scary, you know? But I'm really excited to see what I have built the past, you know, 17 months and the muscle mass I've put on, as well as show people that taking time off can really do you do you a solid. Which leads me into what this video today is going to be talking about, and that is reverse dieting. A lot of people look at me when I say that I'm eating, you know, 2,500, 3,000 calories plus and looking the way I am, and they're like, how do you do that? Well, first off, food is fuel, okay? Food is never something that you should be fearing of, and calories are going to be relative to each person's activity level, muscle mass, as well as what their goals are. So if you're someone that has watched my recent video about how to shred fat, and if you haven't yet, I'll put the link down in the description box. But if you're someone that has been cutting from anywhere to 8 to 12 weeks or 16 weeks plus, now is probably a great time to transition into that reverse diet stage. What a reverse diet is, is basically instead of how you perform a cut, which is when you take away calories each week and add in cardio. During your reverse diet, you go ahead and add calories back in slowly and go ahead and taper off cardio during this time. Your training style does not have to change whether you're in a cut, a bulk, a maintenance phase, anything like that. It doesn't have to change. Now, if you wanna throw in a little bit more hypertrophy focus or if you're going into a bulk, you wanna gain maybe more strength and you wanna focus on a lower rep volume training, that is going to be up to you and there's not a right or wrong answer for that. I personally love to stick to hypertrophy focus training with a small little little snippet of strength training in between, um, but for the most part, I like to keep reps high, intensity high, so that during my workout, I can get a little bit of cardio in without stepping on a treadmill. Now during a reverse diet, the key here is adding calories back in slowly. So for some people, they can take 100 calories of increase a week per like day, or for some people they can only take 50, or for some people they can go bump up 200 calories. What is gonna work for you is gonna work for you. What works for me won't work for you, won't work for Sally, won't work for me, and what works for John won't work for Sally, and none of those things are gonna work for me as well. During a reverse diet, you really just need to listen to your body and see how it's responding. It's gonna go relatively the same per any type of check-in. So you need to pick a day during the week where you can sit back and reevaluate how that past week went. Whether that means that it's a Sunday through Saturday, whatever works best for you. Go ahead, weigh yourself in the morning fasted. I do recommend doing this daily only because you can see the weight fluctuate during the week to where you won't freak out if you see you know, pound up on the scale or pound down, you'll understand what's going on. You can also trace this back to what you've been doing during the week. So say that you have Chipotle Tuesday and on Wednesday morning you weigh in and you're up like 900 pounds, but you only took in Chipotle and it still fit in your macros. Well then you can know that Chipotle might bloat you or maybe the corn that you get bloats you or like, you know, one day maybe I have Halo Top and then I'm bloated the next morning. I can kind of start to understand the foods and what they do to my body. Now, as you're going through a reverse diet, the key here obviously is to add food. A lot of people are seeing reverse dieters losing weight while reverse dieting and they're like, how's that happen? So basically, to keep it short, what can happen is that your body can be in such a starvation mode that it actually ends up stalling, right? It's kind of just like, hey, I don't wanna lose and I don't wanna gain, but I want you to start loving me. So during that time when you start to feed it back food, 
it can sometimes start to rapidly use it and your metabolism just starts firing off. So during that time, you can be losing weight, you can be recomping your body, meaning that body fat storage is changing and where you're holding fat changes. So that can really be relative to your situation. Just because you start adding calories in does not, does not mean that you're going to lose weight like other people do. It is definitely going to be a person to person scenario. Now the beautiful thing about reverse dieting regardless is that you're getting up your metabolism and your caloric intake. So that means that your energy improves, you're feeling good, your vibes are positive, your gym lifts are crazy, and that also means that you can enjoy life a little bit more with a higher intake and less restriction. So instead of having to go the route of like veggies and chicken each day, you can treat yourself to your Chipotle, your Chick-fil-A, your Osties if you want them or Smoothie King or whatever you want. That is the awesome thing about increasing your calories. It also helps broaden your horizon when it comes to understanding that your body can take in more food. I've had a ton of clients come to me and be like, oh, I've only been eating 1300 calories. Like my body doesn't do well with carbs. Trust me, it does good with carbs. But when you start to reintroduce foods like that and show for me, show my clients that they can take that in. They're like, holy smokes, Des, I can't believe that I'm eating 200 grams of carbs and not gaining weight. It's because your body needs it. Your body needs everything. So in order to really get the full experience of reverse dieting, you really want to keep an open mind and make sure that you're kind of ready to partake and experiment with your body. During a reverse diet stage, you're typically going into a reverse diet knowing that you're gonna be gaining weight or that you're wanting to gain weight. So during this time, it really shouldn't be like a, oh my God, like why am I gaining weight? Cause girl, you signed up for it. You knew it was coming. This can ring true for anyone that it is tough to gain weight. It's tough to see it happen, especially going from maybe the best shape you've been in your life or maybe you just still haven't seen results and then someone's telling you to add in food and you're like, I can't even gain, I can't even lose fat. How am I supposed to add in food? and want to gain more weight. I get it. It's discouraging. But sometimes to go forward, you have to take steps backwards. And if what you're doing for you is not working in terms of making a cut and losing body fat, you need to restart. And the only way to really solidly restart and keep your metabolism and health in check is to reverse diet. So a question I get a lot of the time is, is reverse dieting and bulking the same thing? Basically, yes, you're still adding in calories, you're still adding in the opportunity to create lean mass because you should be close to a caloric surplus. Now, if you wanna ride it out at your maintenance level, that is completely up to you, and that's something that is completely optional. Now, if you wanna take advantage of the reverse diet, and really get into pushing some heavy weight, getting some high rep volume training in, getting your days in at the gym and making it worth it, the reverse dieting is definitely going to transition into that bulking lean mass phase. That should definitely never be something that scares you because the more lean mass you put on, the higher your BMR gets. So remember back when we talked about our basal metabolic rate. That is the rate at which we are expending energy, we're expending calories when we're literally lying down and we're resting. Now when that happens and you gain more lean mass, lean mass naturally excretes and burns more calories. So if you end up going and adding on five pounds of lean mass, that gives you the opportunity to burn more calories at rest. Muscle burns calories at rest, fat doesn't. So the more lean mass that you have on your body is going to definitely be a plus in all ways. Reverse dieting is something that you can literally do for as long as you want. There's not a negative side effect that comes with reverse dieting in a time limit. The only thing that can happen is if you're someone that has a hard time gaining weight and you get up into a very high caloric intake, your digestive system can sometimes shut down just because you're eating so much and your body doesn't know how to digest it properly, like kind of like a robot. So what I would suggest is make sure that we're keeping fiber in check for women anywhere from 20 to 25 grams and then making sure that you are really pushing in clean foods as well as making sure that you are keeping digestion as a priority, taking a probiotic, taking a greens drink in the morning, any type of supplementation like that, and that will definitely help you. Now in order to get into that kind of range where it starts to take a hit, 
that's like that's some pretty high calories but still I know a lot of people that eat a lot and still have a hard time gaining so it is something to keep in mind throughout the phase of reverse diet it really should just be an awesome experience it's a time to kind of relax sit back have your body give your body some loving and also reap the benefits of gaining lean mass my reverse diet lasted officially I think it was 16 and a half months and through that time I was able to have so many amazing memories because I didn't have to worry about always keeping a scale on me I didn't have to worry about this and that and it was a really great mental reset for me I'm super excited to take you guys now along my prep journey but I did just want to take a quick video to kind of elaborate like I did on reverse dieting a few key takeaway points I want you guys to make sure you're taking is that a you should be increasing calories weekly as well as taking a step back and reevaluating that weekly along with that cardio should be decreasing simultaneously making sure that at the at a certain point you know after maybe four to six weeks you should be tapered down to little to no cardio our second key point that we want to make sure we take away is that no foods are bad foods so whether you think that you can handle carbs or you think that you can handle fats and you can or can't doesn't matter try it all this is a time for you to figure out what works best for your body three make sure that our digestion is keeping in check by using a probiotic a greens drink any type of supplementation as well as making sure that we are actually tracking our fiber and number four make sure that you are keeping an open mind with the reverse diet make sure that you are objectively keeping progress and make sure that you are not just relying on the scale to see how we're doing you want to make sure you're taking progress pictures videos whatever is best for you so that week to week month to month you can see what is changing in your body or if nothing is then you can figure out what needs to be I hope that you guys love this video if you have any questions make sure that you comment below so that I can answer it is kind of hard because reverse dieting is such a broad subject if you need anything broken down for you make sure that you comment below make sure that you also give this video a thumbs up because I love you guys and let me know if you like the ring light if it added a little bit of a of a cool effect but I love you all thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video